What's going on guys? Today I'll be reviewing the eSynic foldable Bluetooth keyboard. With that said, let's get to it. So this is a foldable Bluetooth keyboard. There are actually a couple of different variations of this keyboard, but this one comes with a case that dubs as a stand. Now this is the white version, but it also comes in black. The keyboard itself is made out of aluminum and it feels pretty solid. So this device can work with either Android, iOS, or Windows. It also has a 210 milliamp battery that's rechargeable via USB. The box says that you can get about 85 hours of uninterrupted typing or 220 days in standby mode. Now this device works just like any other Bluetooth keyboard with the exception that it folds. To give you an idea of the size of this device, this is my iPhone 6 for comparison. So when you open the keyboard, it automatically turns on and this is represented by a green LED. There's also a second LED that flashes blue when pairing or remains solid when the caps lock is on. On the front of the keyboard, you'll find your micro USB port for charging. Up top, you'll find your function and media keys. Now, one of the things that I disliked was the backspace key. So because it's so small, I had to physically look for it each time I needed it. So one of the cool things about this device is you can actually use the keys to launch apps and web pages without going back and forth between the keyboard and the mobile device. Now I can't say that this method is faster, but for me it was just more instinctive. Now what I mean by that is once I started using the keyboard, I found myself wanting to use it for everything as opposed to stopping and going back and forth between the keyboard and the mobile device. But unfortunately, there are still certain times when you'll still have to use your mobile device to launch or perform certain actions. Moving on to the media keys. Now these work pretty much as they're supposed to with music players, but not all of the functions work with YouTube. For example, when I'm watching a video on YouTube, I can control the volume, skip forward or back, but the play and pause button don't do anything. Now more than likely, if you're just watching videos on YouTube, you're probably not gonna connect this device. But there may be certain situations when you're working on a project where you do need this device and you're going back and forth between the project and YouTube. So I guess it's worth mentioning that you won't be able to use the play or pause button. But then again, it's not a big deal. So when typing with this keyboard, I must say it felt good. It was faster, there wasn't any lag, and I definitely prefer the tactile feedback as opposed to pressing the glass screen. Overall, I think this is a solid device, but let me know what you guys think, and I'll leave a link in the description to where you guys can find this device. As always, if you guys enjoy this content, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So until next time, peace.